my question is very simple. How do you see uh, the conflict between freedom and democracy since many people think uh, democracy is a system that the majority bullies minority? Thank you. So whenever somebody starts off a question by saying it's simple, you know. <laughs> So what do we mean by democracy? You know, it's really important. One of the things Rand taught all of us, of her students, is to, to, to clearly define what you mean. What do we mean by democracy? Democracy, in its original intent, means majority rule. It means we vote on everything. Majority rule is a form of tyranny. Majority rule is a form of tyranny. It's tyranny of the majority over the minority. And everywhere that it's practiced as pure majority rule, it's a disaster. And it leads to huge violations of individuals' lives, individuals' freedoms. The minority always suffers under pure democracy. My favorite story about pure democracy is from Athens, Greece, the first democracy. And in Athens, there was a great philosopher by the name of Socrates. And Socrates would go around and he would engage in arguments with young people. And the people of Athens were very worried because he would challenge the religion. And they said, ooh, Socrates is corrupting our youth. What are we going to do about it? Well, they realized the only thing to do about it was to kill him. Because you couldn't silence Socrates. This is his passion. So they got together and they voted. Right? Democracy. What should we do with Socrates? Kill him. 51% said yes. Right? Maybe it was 60, maybe it was 70, maybe it was 99%. Doesn't matter. It was a majority. So they give Socrates the uh, cup of poison to drink, to kill him. And Plato, his student, says to Socrates, you know, I've got a tunnel. We can escape. And Socrates, no. I believe in democracy. And he drinks the chalice and dies. You see, in democracy, there's no freedom of speech. There's only the freedom of the majority to determine what speech is. Socrates, they didn't like what he said, so they ruled him out. This is why, I saw 1776 in one of the slides, right? This is why the founders of America were against democracy. They established what they called a constitutional republic. They said... Minorities, by the way, what's the smallest minority? Individual. The individual. So they said individuals, minorities, have rights, have freedoms that no majority can take away from. For example, they have a right to speak. Socrates, right? they studied history. And no matter how many people vote to silence them, that's wrong. You can't do it. It's not de it, democracy doesn't work here. You have a right. I wish they'd said this. You have a right to property. You have a right to use your property. Do with your property as you will. As long as you're not hurting other people. Physically. Coercing other people. You have a right to do with your property whatever you want. Nobody can take that away from you. Even majorities. So they had a Bill of Rights, they had a constitution that defined minority rights. They called it individual rights. And individual rights are freedoms. Freedoms of action. The freedom to act in reality to pursue your values. And no majority can take that away from you. So I am against democracy as majority rule. I believe in constitutionalism where constitution protects clearly, unequivocally, the rights of individuals. And then, yes, we can vote for our representatives, but the representatives can't do anything. Because we have this clear-cut definition of our individual freedoms. So in my view, government should only do three things. I mean, put it differently. In my view, government should only do one thing. One thing. And that is protect our rights. Protect our rights as individuals. And to do that, it only needs three functions. It needs a police force. It needs a military. So to protect us from crooks, 
inside the country, to protect us from invaders who want to hurt us outside the country, and a justice system to arbitrate disputes. But government has no right to take money from some people and give it to others, because I'm violating his rights. Right? What about his rights to his property? I've just violated his property rights. So I can't force him to fund some, somebody else. Governments have no right to tell you what kind of business you can or cannot open. They're violating your right to free action. As long as you're not cheating, lying, or stealing from somebody else in order to gain that business, none of government's business. So government protects us from crooks, from fraudsters, protect us from terrorists and enemies. It has a just a judicial system, and that's it. So I'm not an anarchist. I think anarchism is a disaster. It's the worst form of government, if you will, possible. Because there is no government, and what we turn into is, is a lot of force and a lot of destruction. I believe in government, but a small one, limited one, that only protects individual rights that have to be clearly defined and clearly articulated. So, it, it, democracy is a huge mistake, and, and what happened in America today, in my view, is we've gone from a constitutional republic in 1776, or 17, when the constitution was written, the 1780s, all the way to today where we are democracy. America is a democracy. So the majority votes to take money from the minority and give it to the majority. The majority votes that they want people to eat only this kind of food. The majority votes that people should only do this on Sunday. The majority gets to decide and it sacrifices the minority. That's wrong. Anybody else have a simple question?